Aftermath here caught on video, a car slamming into a local dealership, leaving a big mess behind. But that was not the only collision. Our Alyssa Hyman is live from the scene where cleanup is underway. Tell us more. Yeah, and officially that window that was smashed into has been boarded up, which was pretty good timing because we have experienced some off and on at some points heavy rain throughout the afternoon. But according to police, an elderly driver panicked after they say he hit a bicyclist and then they say he hit the car in reverse, smashed into several cars on the street before slamming into the showroom. up and repairs only just beginning at the Brayman Motors dealership off Biscayne Boulevard in Miami. We heard a crash of some kind and that caused us to stop, you know, everything we we're doing. We just kind of came to the window for a while. Only in Dade sharing this video showing the damage left behind after an elderly driver crashed into the showroom. You can see where the driver's blue car came to a stop, appearing to crash into at least two cars inside the showroom glass everywhere and the desks knocked over. Miami police say the driver was on Biscayne Boulevard at Northeast 21st Street making a turn when he hit someone on a bicycle. He was moving, um, which was good to see. Um, it, it looked like you know people sort of rushed to him. The cyclist was transported to the hospital in serious condition with a head injury. Uh, the driver of the vehicle was um, evaluated on the scene and he was not injured. Fortunately, no one inside Brayman Motors was hurt either. Incredibly, the store associate who works right by the window where the crash happened was off today. We checked the, uh, the driver and we checked him to see if he was under the influence. He was not under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Uh, we, suggest, we believe that all it was is that he panicked and crashed into the other vehicles after he had hit the bicyclist. Now, it's not clear if that driver could be facing any citations or any charges at this point, but we do know this is all still under investigation. For now, reporting in Miami, Alyssa Hyman, NBC6 News. All right.